Okay. My crank timing is at the mark. Top dead center. My front camshaft looks like I'm off because it's supposed to be flush. I'm off a tooth. The back one, them notches are supposed to be flush, so they're off too. That was part of my problem yesterday. And I wanted to do a compression test. Number one. Number two, I discovered I had um, my bearing, my shells for the cams. I had them too damn tight. So that was a lot of the reason why I wasn't uh, able to get a decent compression test or to even get it to turn over half decent. So, I got to go back. I'm going to slacken the chains. I'm going to do one at a time. And hoping I didn't bend any valves again. And I'm hoping where I had that, had them caps too tight. That light back on. Can't see shit. That, uh, that I didn't ruin this head, but if I messed up any of those, I got a shit ton of spares that I can change them with. This is what happens when you rebuild old motors. You don't always get it right the first time. As long as I didn't, after that valve job, as long as I didn't bend any valves, I'm hoping. And if I did, I'll just take the actual silver head that was on this motor and I'll change it and I'll put it on. Even though I didn't do the valves in it. If I have to do that, then I'll do that. So I'll do what I can. You know, before the weather changes, because that's friggin' cold out.